Here it writes, liquid damage. Run cosmetic inspection of the motherboard first. The motherboard is not deformed. But we can see signs of water damage here. Get the motherboard installed. And display assembly connected. Connect the battery. Press the power button to turn on the phone. The phone enters recovery mode automatically. Connect the phone with computer and restore via iTunes. Error 14 appears. Judging by iTunes error codes and their corresponding analysis, the fault might be caused by damage of the non-flash chip or malfunction of non-relevant circuits. Take out the motherboard. We can see signs of water damage around the non-flash chip. Then run diode mode measurement of the three rails of non-power supply. The measured value is normal, which indicates that non-power supply relevant circuits haven't shorted. Let's continue with voltage measurement of the three rails of power supply. Connect the battery connector with the DC power supply. The current reading on the ammeter is 50 milliamperes which indicates that the motherboard is leaking electricity. Get the motherboard powered on with tweezers. And run voltage measurement of the three rails of power supply. Judging by the measured value, 2.63 volts and 0.9 volts power supply are normal. The measured value of 1.8 volts power supply is 2.6 volts, which is abnormal. We need to focus on relevant circuits of the main power supply and the 1.8 volts power supply of none. For better inspection, we need to remove metal shields first. There are four metal shields covering iPhone XR motherboard. Let's start with the simple one covering CPU. Stick high temperature tape on connectors around first. Then heat with hot air gun. Remove the metal shield covering CPU. Check carefully and we can see, no signs of water damage here. Let's continue with the metal shield on the back side. Please be noted that we can apply some solder paste along the side of the motherboard to lower the melting point here. Then heat with hot air gun. Remove the metal shield on the opposite side. We can see obvious signs of water damage around ICs here.
We need to remove these moldy ICs for further cleaning. Heat with hot air gun. Remove these moldy ICs one by one. Then heat with soldering iron. Clean those moldy bonding pads one by one. Now, let's connect the battery connector with the DC power supply. The current reading is 40 mA, which still means electricity leaking. We need to check components, under the remaining two metal shields. Apply some solder paste along the side of the motherboard first. Then heat with hot air gun. Remove the remaining two metal shields. We can see obvious signs of water damage around ICs here. We need to remove these moldy ICs for further cleaning. Heat with hot air gun. Then heat with soldering iron. Clean those moldy bonding pads one by one. Again, connect the battery connector with the DC power supply. We can see that the current reading is normal this time. The electricity leaking problem has been fixed. Heat with hot air gun. Solder those previously removed ICs to the motherboard. Now we can assemble the phone and test. 
Get the motherboard installed and display assembly connected. Connect the battery. Press the power button to turn on the phone. The phone enters recovery mode automatically. Connect the phone with the computer. Restore the phone via iTunes. The phone can be normally restored. Once completed, the phone goes to the home screen automatically. Run function test. All going well.